Grab your banana. <laughs> yeah. I beg your pardon? Well <laughs> yeah. A little early in the party well for that, don't you think? Yes. yes. Right. The, so, the yes. It actually works quite well. This is one of our scientific analysis tools. Yeah, it's pretty good because look what happens when you rip, when you rip through. Ah. Well, a banana turns out to be a great way to model the breakup of Titanic. So imagine that the bow is going underwater and the stern's being lifted up and, and you've got a center of buoyancy right, right here. This is going to be so cool because it's going to break just like the ship. So, it, so it, it starts to break at the top. There's a buckling failure underneath, which you, can, which you can see right there. It starts to tear down, right? So now the stern's falling back, the bow's sinking down, and as they separate, whoa, check that out. There's the double bottom separating from the stern and from the, from the bow. All right, now the only thing that's missing, you've got to tear it, and this is how the, the bow separates and drops down like that. Now the stern sitting at the surface with this big piece of double bottom. Stern now floods, goes vertical, heads for the bottom at high speed like this, and this big piece of windage here that's flapping in the breeze bends back, breaks off, and goes frisbee and off across the debris field about a quarter of a mile away. Banana peel theory.